is Chardon Polka Band, and we're going to play some polka music tonight, as well as some other old and new favorites, and uh, never quite sure where we're going to go with it. Um, we don't use a set list, so we don't know what's going to happen up there, other than we're going to play a selection out of the 200 or so songs we know. Well, 13 years approximately, maybe, starting off, and then uh, over the years picked up the rest of us and changed band members. Well, the band started in, in high school, and uh, it took a very long time for the sound to evolve from a little bit more traditional and uh, less professional to the, uh, the, the interesting new not-your-grandmother's-type polka music that we play today. Our audience ranges from any age, you know, you can have kids that are two, two years old running around having a great time to all the songs all the way up to the seniors who are out there still polking and having a great time. So there's a little bit of uh, music for every everybody in all the different age groups. Actually, none of us really grew up with polka music that much, um, which I think is something that gives us a unique sound um, because we all approached polka music with very new ears and a new take on the genre, as it were, um, instead of bringing all this, you know, stuff we had grown up with. Hey, it's supposed to be this way and this way. We all took it and all in our own ways went, hey, what can I bring to this? What can I do with this? Um, how does polka sound to me? How does polka sound to us? What is our polka sound? Because there's a lot of different polka sounds. There's Slovenian, German, Polish, all sorts of different stuff, and we're kind of like a polka melting pot. We take anything and we, we play it. It doesn't always sound good, but we'll do anything. Anything you want to hear to try and make an audience smile or laugh or whatever, we're, we're always willing to experiment um, if the circumstances are appropriate to experiment. Um, I wouldn't say it's really difficult because we um, kind of do our own thing with it, so it's, it's not hard to do your own thing when that's what you do. Really there's two options as far as converting songs. Either it's an easy song to convert, in which case we do it well, or it's a difficult song to convert, in which case we do it poorly, but we do it either way. Do it. I think we definitely have a method to how we transform our songs and how we kind of workshop it or how we kind of do it on the fly. So, I mean, we, we're definitely used to our methods and so we're used to people shouting out songs and trying to see what we can do with it. Well, my best friend is Emily Cowie, and we were college roommates, so we went to Westminster College together, so that's how I got affiliated with the band. So I'm, I'm really hooked on polka now because of her and her husband, Jake. I actually just learned that dance a second ago with my buddy, Mr. Ron, but I kind of just you know, played the part. But I do love dancing and I do love polka, so it works out. Well, I love the Chardon Polka Band. I heard first heard him, heard him at the... Uh, uh, it was either Bigly, I think it was Oasis or Bigly Oaks, and they were just wonderful. And I was so amazed at how talented they were and what wonderful musicians they were. I taught music for years, so I kind of knew a little bit about music before I heard them. And I just was real impressed, and I called all my line dancers up to let them know that they were going to be here tonight. I'd like to be an astronaut and fly around the stars. I'd search for signs of life on Jupiter and Mars. I'll never be an astronaut for the reason it's clear. I won't be an astronaut because in space you can't drink beer. You can't drink beer in outer space. Can't get that bottle to your lips or the helmet on your face. It'll look as funny as can be drinking beer in zero gravity. It's kind of crazy the way they look. They and they're 
doing polka music. One guy has dreadlocks and the other guy, I mean, like, they're really good. And uh, for younger people, it, it just amazes me that, you know, they're doing the polka music and they do a really good job. And one guy was uh, yodeling. That was, that was pretty awesome. Yeah, that's nice that their young ones are, you know, come bring them focus back. That's what we need, more young people, more young to, people. To, to like the music. So they could take our place. Yeah, we've been dancing for 60 years, 60 right? 60 years already doing a polka. I think we, my wife and I thought the band was excellent. They play a good range. I mean, they're all good professional musicians. They're really, they're fabulous. Oh, I love it. I love it. And I think they're doing a good job. And, and a lot of people that haven't been listening to it will listen to it more. Well, it's interesting because you're seeing a lot of different ages here. So uh, I think it's a clean family, clean music. I think they're great. I think they're so cool. They're not afraid to get out there and play polka music. I think they rock. And he's a lily, 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 lily. Mr. Mike Franklin, a man of many talents, yodeling for you, the Mountain Climber Polka. Hey, we're the Chardon Polka Band, and we're going to take a very quick break, but then we'll be back with more of your polka favorites, waltzes, oldies, and more. Anything else you can think of, we'll, we'll try and play it, ladies and gentlemen.